With unemployment levels still near 10 percent, finding a job can be very difficult unless you know where to look. According to website collegerecruiter.com, more than 80 percent of job openings are unlisted. So here to help find that hidden market is career and workplace advisor Ellen Gordon-Reeves. Great to have you with us, Ellen. Thanks for having me. And this topic is so near and dear to so many people right now. A number of people out of work newly after really having a job for an entire career. And you say the first thing someone needs to do is start getting organized. How do they do that? You've got to know exactly what you're looking for, assess your skills and talents. If you were laid off, really decide if you want to stay in the same field or if it's a time for reinvention. Know your field and don't play, you say, the wild card. You've got to be strategic. Don't send your resume hurtling into the black void of cyberspace. I say stop looking for a job and start looking for a person. The right person will lead you to the right job. So when you ultimately do start looking for that job and looking for that right person, your first tip is to be mentally and physically prepared. How does that work? Well, listen, Olympic athletes are not sitting at home waiting for the next games after four years, right? You've got to look your best, feel your best, exude competence and confidence. That's who employers want to hire. And also, it's interesting that you say you need a business card. So my question is, what do you want to include on this business card when you're out and about? Well, to connect with people, they've got to have a way to reach you. So you've got to have a professional email address, no hot mama at hotmail.com, mm -hmm. one phone number, not a home and cell, I don't want to have to think about it, and a professional message. So I don't want to hear, hi, this is John, this is Susie, this is Fluffy, arf, arf, arf. <laughs> you know, this is your saying, this is professional you. Right. So just contact information. If you have a field, marketing, put that. Otherwise, just name, phone number, contact information. I always wonder when to actually hand out that business card. Do you do it at the beginning of a conversation? Do you do it at the end? What's appropriate? Follow the cues of the person, but especially at holiday time, if you're out, you really need to go to parties, even if you don't feel like it. You've got to be out, again, connecting all the time, telling people what you're looking for. And then when you are out and about, refine that 30 second pitch so that you can get it across in a quick amount of time. You've got to be able to say what you're looking for, what your previous experience has been, and what you can do for the employer. Employers only have two goals, making money and saving money. Show them how you can do that for them. We often hear to use social media nowadays, but what does that actually mean in this world? You've got to put a discreet posting on Facebook or LinkedIn and say, does anyone know anyone at CBS? And don't be, well actually be a little more specific. If you want to be on the early show, say, does anyone know someone at the early show? You've got to have as many exploratory and informational interviews as possible. And in one way you can get that from networking and this is a good time of year to do that. Right, uh, social networking, and don't forget actually to get off the internet a little bit mm -hmm. to be out there, and also send holiday cards. It's a great time to remember people and to say, love to reconnect with you. I am looking for jobs. I'd love to speak with you after the new year. Um, really, just get back in touch. Get back in touch, and make sure you do get out and go to those holiday parties. So they're That's an it. easy segue into it. Great. Ellen, so. thank you so much. We appreciate you being here with us this morning. Thank you.